Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and, um, there's no reward at all for doing the, 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 the Staff Ghosts on 200cc. So my, my recommendation would be not doing it. So, um, not gonna do it. Basically. That's only there if you really want to get better at Mario Kart, really. <laughs> Which I do. But I also don't want to lose my mind, you know? There's, there's, I can still get better at Mario Kart and not lose my mind. Instead, we're gonna start grinding coins because we need... ...to get to 10,000 total coins, and we have 2,700. So, we need... ...the last three quarters of coins. We need to... ...get three times the amount of coins we've collected so far. And there is a battle mode for collecting coins, but that's not what we want to do. Instead, what we want to do, I think, is go into Versus, which means we can do a race using custom rules. And I'm just going to switch my cart back. But anyway, we've also unlocked the gold tires from doing the Staff Ghosts on 150cc. That's what we wanted to do. So now we have that and the gold cart, which I actually might just set that up just as that. So, so we can set the CC at the top. We can also set teams if we wanted to, but I'm going to set none. Uh, items, just, maybe, like, I don't know, no items. Items or coin? No items or coins? So basically just coins? Oh, no items or coins. Okay, so I, we need coins, so we need to do that. Let's, we could set it to no items. I'm gonna take out the CPUs, if I can, can't I? Can't I? I thought- no, I, I'm doing this wrong. Hang on. Go back, go back, go back. I've realized my mistake. Okay, hang on. Also, we've collected 2,700 coins so we get a new vehicle work customization. We're gonna go to multiplayer and go to four players. And probably... Versus race. So I'm borrowing, extra, I'm borrowing an extra controller for this, which I tried to explain to people as to why I was borrowing a single controller, but anyway. Now we just need to select our characters, which I guess we could just be all the same characters, but you know, we, why not have some variety? Let's have, um, uh, Link, Breath of the Wild style. Let's, uh, set up maybe Gold Mario. And we can set him up with this gold bike and we can set up, um, Nah, not Tanuki Mario, probably. Also, we've unlocked the Sports Coop. Which we'll come back to in a second once I actually select the right character for... Player 4. Good to go, Rosalina. Let's do that. Okay. Need to reselect on all of the controllers. And now, let's set up myself with... Uh, probably the bear and the red wheels. Also, I think we have all the tires now, so there's no actual space between the... No, there is still something missing, so we'll have to find that. We have all the carts, though, because that of all that, so... All the carts is a good starting point. Now, which one is this? I can't... I think this one's Link, yeah. Let's give Link the cool stuff. Give him the Glider, paraglider, and ancient tires, and where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The Master Cycle Zero. Let's give Gold Mario. Obviously, we're going to give him the gold cart if I can find it. I'm glad I can go through this pretty quickly. Also, I need to go back on those since we're not quite done there. There's just a few things we need to change. Hang on. This is... Where did I... How did I miss it? There it is. Okay. And then gold tires. Should be in here somewhere. There we go. Nope. Hang on. Rosalina? What should I give Rosalina? It's not really anything that's... Oh, uh, maybe. Like that and... Oh, the... the this is funnier... Funnier ways to do things. So let's do... That. Perfect. And, uh, maybe clouds. 
But now, before we move on, we actually want to go into the details stuff. And we want to set on the auto-correction and the auto-forward on each of them. Which should be already activated, as far as I can tell. Oh, what'd I do? Hang on. So that should actually be good for every character already. Except for the first player, of course. So now, all the characters should move forward automatically. Let's turn off the CPU. All vehicles. Courses, um... Could do random. I actually know, choose is actually probably gonna be better. And <laughs> we can actually set the races to 48. So now, we just need to select a course for our four players. In quotes. To grind coins. And I think the best level for it is either Mute City or... Hang on. Or Big Blue, because the F-Zero courses are guaranteed to always give the automatically going autocorrect players 10 coins each. And I'm pretty sure that each player's coins count up to your total, so let's probably do Mute City a whole bunch, so I'm just going to have it go once and just to show you how it's going to work, and then I'm probably going to leave it running and just keep... Rep the only thing you really need to do is keep selecting the course. Which, if you keep selecting Mute City, you're always going to grind up coins the fastest, so... It's worthwhile. But as you can see here, all the characters are going forward. And because of those things on the edges, they always get 10 coins. And then it's just a matter of time to wait. Also, the, the, the vibrations of the controllers whenever they get coins is really weird. Because you, if, you, if you have it setting down on something, you can hear it make the sound. But yeah, the auto-steering isn't actually auto-steering, it's just auto-correction. So if you get close to an edge, it will push you back the other way. Which sometimes you will still crash into the wall, but anyway. So yeah, this is about how we're going to grind the next three quarters of 10,000 coins. You're not going to see it, but I'm, I'm going to be sitting here probably watching YouTube while I grind these coins but yeah there's not much to it if you want to do it like this you just need to keep selecting the course after each race which can be fairly simple you can also if you wanted to like control each character so you can actually make it go by faster like take turns on which one you speed up so anyway I'm gonna leave this for now and then I'll be back with you probably either tomorrow or some other time during this week because it's going to be quite a while until I have all the coins that I need so I'll see you in a moment. And for 2,800 coins we unlock the Master Cycle. Just like the Master Cycle Zero I guess. But very different stats apparently. And for 2,900 we get the Button Wheel It's a, it's a wheel that looks like a button. Everybody's favorite thing. For 3,000 coins, we get the slick wheel. So slick. Very good speed and handling, apparently, but I don't know if that's the cart or not. Anyway. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a slick wheel. For 3,000 coins, we get the Bowser Kite for our glider. You know, it's a, it's a glider, so it's not going to be that much different from everything else, but it looks cool because it's Bowser on it. Hey, future me here. I forgot to mention a few things quickly. Baby Park, as a way to grind coins with four players in this style, is just absolute chaos. The other thing is that you probably want to have your fastest cart set up for all four players so it goes by as fast as possible. And don't use items because if you have mushrooms, then your characters will try to take the shortcut at the very end of the track and will go off the track losing coins. It's been a little bit longer than a, f a, de a day, so, um, yeah, I'm back from the, the, the past of the future or something like that. Anyway, back from playing Mario Kart with the Squidville Live, who are some amazing streamers that you should definitely check out on Twitch, so um, it's always a good time there. 
But also, as it turns out, in the deluxe version, you only need 5,000 coins to get the last reward. On the Wii U version, it's you need 10,000 coins. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at the last unlock, which I think I've already done the animation for, possibly. Yes, we have the Gold Glider. Also, this is the most cursed cart I could come up with. But yeah, we have the Gold Glider now, which is pretty cool and adds to the last bit of the gold set as well. So that's pretty cool. Now we have a gold Mario on his gold cart with his gold wheels and his gold glider. It's pretty cool. Not that it's really that great. Look at that weight and... Oh my goodness. <laughs> the grip is so low, the acceleration is low, the handling is moderate, but the speed and weight are pretty high. And I don't know if that's a good thing for the weight though. But anyway, that's all that done. So now that everything else is done, we can move on to the last thing that we haven't really looked at. For one thing, there is versus battle versus race, which is basically just racing. But hang on, I need to figure out which card I'm using. It's been apparently it's been too long since I last played. I don't know how that works. But anyway, if we look at this, we can actually select which CC we want from all of the CCs. We can also set teams. Which will, it's it's basically just splits uh, the, the t it's, it's six on each team. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Red and blue. I think you can still hit your allies, your teammates, but that actually might be, no, I don't, maybe you might actually be able to hit your teammates in team games. I'm pretty sure you can, but it won't automatically target them if it's like a red shell or, or a um, pariah plant. You can also set the items from normal to shells only, so all of the item boxes have shells only, or bananas only, mushrooms only, which is interesting. I tried that out for grinding coins. It, it didn't really work out because it tries to go automatically onto the ramp that shortcuts and it just takes away coins. bob -ombs only, which is a little bit of chaos considering just everything about that. Um, and no items, which means there are no item boxes basically, but there's also no items or coins, which means that no coins will appear that you can grab either. And then there's also frantic items, which means you get lots of crazy stuff and it's just all over the place, lots of good items. So that's how that is. CPU is just the computers and how good they play from easy to normal and hard. Uh, vehicles is for the CPUs apparently. But you can go carts only or bikes only, or just all vehicles. So you can basically just set every all the characters and players to just carts only if you wanted to. If you don't like bikes, or if you'd like bikes only, you can do that. Or just all vehicles, which is basically what you're going to do 99.9999999% of the time. You can also go to courses where you can choose, which means you can select the cup and then select which. Um, the race you want to do, like in time trials, or you can do in order, so it's just, I don't know how that works exactly, but I'm, I'm guessing if you select a cup, it will just do it in that order until you need something else, I don't know. And then there's random, where it just picks random courses. And of course, races is how many races in the cup you want to do, basically. And by that, the cup, I mean the versus cup, so you can actually do... All of the races. This is this we this is what we did earlier for grinding coins anyway, so yeah. 48 races just to go through the same track over and over and over and over. I'm so sick of mute city now, but it's fine. Probably not that sick because it's been a week since I really last had to do any grinding. But anyway, now that all that is out of the way, it's time for battle mode, which has some interesting additions in this version. I'm gonna get rid of that real quick. Seems good. You can also, on the um, the cart selection, just press uh, plus, I believe. No? Am I wrong about that? I thought you could just... I think I'm thinking about a different game. Oh well. I thought you could press plus to automatically um, like just select what's already selected, but I, it brings up the menu of stats. There really should be a button. There, there might be that I'm just not aware of, but anyway. 
let's go to battle mode, which is a lot like um, versus in that you can select all the stats down here. Um, but now we also have round length, which is how long each round goes. So let's set that to probably five minutes just because I'm crazy like that. And we're going to start off with balloon battle. And actually, uh, I guess we'll just do choose. We have eight different courses to choose from in battle mode. So let's get started on that. Battle stadium. I could just set it to random and have it do that, but still. Also, I should have set the... I should have set it to eight tracks so I can actually just do all of the battle... Balloon battle in one go. But anyway, the way that balloon battle works is how it's basically always done. Is everyone gets given three balloons. And the goal is to pop other people's balloons. If you if all of your balloons are popped, you actually get more. And actually in this version it's five balloons apparently. This is this shows how much I've of the battle mode I've played. Because I really haven't at all. Except for playing with Squid Wheel this last Friday. So But yeah. We can use different power-ups to take out their balloons. Anything that hits you basically will pop a balloon. And I'm already in trouble, probably. I need to be very careful. If you have a mushroom, you can actually steal balloons from opponents, which is pretty good. Um, let's see. Mario's up in front of me. Got him like that. We can see how many balloons have popped on the bottom left of the screen, and we can see how much time left is on the top right of the screen. There are, how, aren't a ton of crazy items happening at the moment, which is interesting. Also, I don't like the battle mode always be the same speed option. Like, no, not even an option, it's just always the same speed. Which I would like if I could change the speed up, but I can understand why it's a set speed. Especially with some of the different modes. So, oh wow, that was terrible. I need to do a lot better than I'm doing right now. Also, it's probably recommended to do... Maybe... It's probably recommended most of the time. If you're going against C... Like, all players against CPUs, do team battle, basically. And if you're just doing... If you're doing single play, you might want to try... Like, single player or against everyone else as a actual player. You might want to do everyone on everyone. Free for all. Or you might just want to have teams, which is fairly normal. <coughs> oh, that was randomly there. I need to really get some more points right now, because I have far and few. Maybe it's just better to throw out items. That shell was curved. I don't know how that happens. Um, I'm going to try and have somebody hit... Also, whoever's got the most points will have a crown over them on the map. I don't know if it's in, like, you can actually see it or not, but I will find out if I ever get enough points. I have four points right now, and I'm still not doing great. This is definitely a lot more brutal than I realized in Free For All. Just because it's not shared... Ah. Not shared points with your teammates. Which is probably something you want. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am not getting any of these points. Please, 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 please. Boomerang, boomerang, boomerang. Thank you. I'm still... Oh, actually, I'm winning now, and you can actually see my crown. Which is a cool crown, because it has a shine on top. Very cool. Now... Also, wow. Having watched Squidville, also there's a. Oh my goodness. Hang on. I'm gonna. One thing at a time. Oh, it's gone. In battle mode, there is a, a new item that is only in battle mode, which is the feather, which allows you to jump. And the other thing is, having played with Squidville a bit, is. Um, I can't remember what it was. That's really strange. I'm sad that I don't remember it, actually. Very sad. I'm trying to think, and I 
cannot think of it. Also, it's very useful in battle mode to actually use the brake to turn yourself around, like, a full 180. Just because you can completely turn around and get people that you need to. Oh please, oh please, oh please. I missed. I'm gonna slow down now and turn around. That's why it's useful. I can't- I still can't remember what I was gonna say, and it's sad. Squid feels great, and I want to remember stuff that involves them. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna lose. Oh, I ran out of balloons. Oh, I lost a ton of balloons from that, actually. So it's pretty good to target people with more points. Also, is that, like, New Donk City in the background? That looks cool. I don't think it is, though. Please let me steal your balloon. Thank you. And I've got a crown now, but also Tanuki Mario also has a crown, so that's not good. So if I can figure out where Tanuki Mario is, I don't think it's over here. I think it's on top, which is a shame. Because I can't get up top right now. And I'm not going to win. Okay. So definitely recommend using teams in battle mode. Because it's just... Otherwise, it's just too... It's, you just don't see enough people, I guess. Anyway, sweet, sweet kingdom. I could actually ch go change the rule set before going to the next race, but nah, I'm just gonna go with it. I chose this. This is my punishment for going through menus quickly. This looks really cool. Actually, it looks very sweet. Okay, let's go. And let's hopefully get the win. Which is unlikely to happen, considering me. I wonder what happened if I stood on top of an item block and then just threw out items. Probably wouldn't end well for me, but still. Also, I actually learned something else about Mario Kart, and it's, it's if you hold... I think, if this is... I hope this is true. Is if you hold... Oh my goodness. If you tap in one of the four directions on the control stick as you're going, as you do a, the trick jump on one of these platforms, you actually do a different trick. Which I'm not sure if that actually changes how fast you like reach the ground, but I'd be interested to know. There's just so many things that you learn. So yeah, you change your pose. Like if I tap up and do that, I actually spin forward. But you have to tap it and then press the and as you tap the um the trick jump button, so. There's just so many things about this game that I've learned so much recently from playing or watching Squidville. Like drafting, just that kind of thing. Oh my goodness, please. This is chaos. There's so many items everywhere. I'm not winning right now, which is not great. I need items. Give me items. This is really not working out for me, but it's okay. Oh my goodness, I hit myself. Oh my goodness. I might be able to use my feather. I don't know how this feather would be a great weapon. But it's fine. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can actually get some points. Nice. Still losing though. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho ho, that was lucky. Um, where is everyone? You want to probably aim for clusters of people and then just throw a ton of stuff at them. Probably. I had to guess. You can also just go on a loop forever and try doing that. I might try that. Though, it's probably gonna end badly if I'm not too careful. That's gonna ruin it. That's fine. Get right back into it. 
This is working out a lot better than I thought it would. But I still need more items. Get him. Oh my goodness, I could see the explosion that was underground. And that's probably not a good thing because that means that it could possibly go hit me through the ground. Oh no. I have the crown at least, so that's good. <laughs> this is working out far better than it should be. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hit him please. No. I'm still winning. And now I'm not. Oh my goodness, you lose so many balloons. You lose so many balloons for dying. And the CPUs aren't even going after the top CPU. They're going after the top player, because of course they do. I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh my goodness, they went down the ramp, didn't they? That's fine. Oh my goodness. Please, let, let me get... <sighs> get let, me get, let me get points, please. Why is this so... brutal? I think it's just because I'm playing free-for-all. That's probably not the best way to play. Ghost! Oh boy. Okay, I need to head out now and go get points, please. Please, 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 please. No! And there goes all my points. Right, well, that's bad. Not gonna get enough points to win now. Might as well just throw everything out now. I hit Yoshi. <laughs> that's all that counts. Oh my goodness, this is difficult. Okay then, next round. Hopefully I can get enough points to win something. Dragon Palace. Oh, didn't mean to skip that, that's fine. I'll show it later anyway. Here we go. Round three. Let's see if I can get some points and not lose them. Oh my goodness. My power up was stolen from me and I shall rage. Take that, please. Nope. I think I'm a lot more hopeful on stuff just rebounding and just happening to randomly hit things. Oh my goodness. I, nearly th I think that was my. Sh no, why? But yeah, this this is a cool track because it's got an inside and an outside that you can go between. I think banana peels might be the strat, possibly. Just leaving them around for people to run into. There's also some ramps to go up inside again over here. But also just an in-between area just down in the middle area over here. Might just throw that over there. Please hit somebody. I have the crown right now and I have four points. That's saying something about this round so far, apparently. Um, just gonna throw that out. Hopefully it's gonna actually hit something. Six points. This is going well. So far. That's not gonna go as well as I hoped, but that's okay. This is a very interesting round right now. Nobody's really trying to get me. Not very well, at least. Just gonna leave that there. Eight points. What is happening? I'm actually doing somewhat well. I wonder if there's, um... CPU rubber banding. Whether CPUs actually get worse depending on if you're not winning. I don't know if CPU rubber banding is an actual thing or not, but I... I don't know. That just seems like something that would exist. If I was the pro person programming this game, or designing it, I would... add... CPU rubber banding. Oh no! I have 10 points though, so that's pretty good. 
Give me something good. Give me something better. Please hit someone. Just by random chance, please hit someone. Oh boy, oh boy. I nearly hit myself. It's fine. Gonna go out again. I also love these statues. They're really cool. There's one silver one, one gold one. That's interesting using a feather in midair to jump. Nice, I got Link. Okay. And people are coming up now, so I'm gonna throw that bomb out and throw that bomb out. I don't think that hit anyone, but that's fine. I have 12 points and I'm gonna run. 12 points is really good. Considering I did really badly in the first two courses. That'd be really cool if you could make that jump. But also don't think you would be able to. Stole a balloon, that's pretty good. Just gonna throw that shell out there and hopefully hit something. My goodness, 13 balloons. This is the game. Okay, is so anyone... Everyone's actually gone up, I think. Pretty much. I think I wasted that bomb, but that's okay. The items are very... Like, really... Pretty good at the moment. Please hit. Hit them. Oh, don't hit me, though. I'm in a bad spot. I'm gonna get out here with my 17 points. Get out here with my 17 points. I think if you lose all your balloons, you actually lose half of your your hits balloons. So half your points if you die. I think that's how this works. Oh, that was nearly bad for me. Oh, that was nearly bad for me. This is nearly bad for me. Oh, my boomerang was stalled. I'm gonna get out of here. Goodbye. I just need to stay alive for a second here. And then I might win with 18 balloons. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We, we, we good. I think. Hopefully. Just want to get one more. Thank you. 19 points for the win. I actually did well. That's pretty good. Let's move on to the next round. Lunar Colony. This is pretty cool, and it's very similar in... There's, the, the, some of these levels are very similar in style to some of the tracks that we've played. And this one's obviously similar to Rainbow Road on the 8 version. Pretty cool though. I don't know how to feel about it being tilted for most of the scene. You know, uh, yeah. That's the best way I have to describe this area. Is being tilted. Okay, let's see if we can do some good stuff. I don't know if a feather's gonna help me, but you know, I can dream. Whoa! That was close. Don't want to hit myself the banana peel. That'd be embarrassing. Oh my goodness! Just gonna throw that out. I think I just hit a banana peel, but that's fine. Where is everyone? I feel like that was a good move. I hit Roy, so that must be a good move. That bounced. I don't know where that's gonna go. Please don't hit me. I'm just gonna go over this way. Ow! I hate when random shells from nowhere hit me. <laughs> it's not fair. Could use a power up right now. Could really use a power up right now. There seems to be a lot in the middle and not a lot on the outside. Hit Mario. Who's winning? I think it's Roy. Oh, 
Oh, please, I want power-ups. They're slightly in the air, so I can't reach them exactly. This is a very cool tr course. Oh, please turn. Oh, please turn. I need to use the B button for turning more in this mode, because it's just going to be a lot more useful than just drifting. Oh my goodness, all my shells were taken from me, but I have the crown. That's a good sign. Please hit somebody. I have five hits, so if I can get more than that, that'd be great. Okay, let's see if I can steal a balloon for some health. I don't know if that's a good idea, but anyway, I missed it. Anyway, cool. That works for me. Is anyone chasing me? I need to look at the map more to make sure that nobody's chasing me. I'm upset that that missed. I don't know how that further helps, but anyway. I got eight points. That's pretty good. Excuse me, coming through. This is working out really well right now. I mean, it could be doing better, but it's still doing really well. Oh, could have stolen that one. Especially if I actually use the break to turn better. Oh. So close. I think it was flashing though, so I had invincibility frames. Eye frames, as some people might say. I probably should start calling them eye frames instead. But it makes sense to somebody who wouldn't know what they are to say invincibility frames, probably. No! Random shell, why? I think I'm very good at actually running into random shells without them actually aiming for me. Okay, good. Now if I could steal, that would be great. I have a minute left and I have 11 balloons. And two balloons left on myself. That I probably don't want to lose if I can help it. No, 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 no. Let me steal my balloon. Thank you. I really needed that. Oh, please, 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 oh, please. That thing is... that star power is scaring me. Oh, there's so many star power things. Poor. Oh, I really don't want to die now because otherwise I will lose. I will lose if I get hit by anything twice. Oh boy. Not sure if throwing that red shell back was a good idea, but I think it might work out because I'm still alive and it's the end. So there we go. Five minutes is a long time for a round. You know? But there we go. And now we've got this crown here, which looks pretty cool. It's a bit strange when it's in different colors, though, because of um, not coming in first and getting second or third. Especially the bronze one, because it's got green on the inside. But anyway, I think that's it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.